Okay, okay. So, decide how this lighting works. Okay, here we go. Hi, everybody. Today I am talking about something that I am very, very excited about. Um, I kind of tried to keep this under my hat for a little while, but I'm not going to keep it under my hat anymore. Really excited. So I'm going to be talking to you today about something that I kind of found on accident um, when I was looking for the perfect foundation. Now, many of you that know me, especially my family, know that I've had acne and oily skin for a long, long time. And it's been a really fight for me to find a really good foundation that I really like. So um, I went looking some time ago and I, I tried several different things. Um, I even tried um, airbrush makeup, which ended up not working for me at all. Uh, and I finally found something that works really, really well for me as a foundation that um, sits very lightly on my skin. And it's actually from a company that has been in business since 1952. And it is a professional makeup. They've been supplying professional makeup to the theater uh, industry and the movie industry for, for that many years. They have a storefront in New York City. And the company is called Alcone. So um, in my search, I found this foundation and I've been using it for about five months. Um, it's a wax-based foundation. It's not a liquid. If you don't know, professional makeup artists don't use liquid foundation. They use wax-based foundations for several reasons. Number one, it doesn't absorb into the skin. It sits on the skin and it feels really light. And actually, I don't ever feel like I'm really wearing it. A lot of other foundations I've used in the past that were liquid, they really made my skin feel really dirty and greasy by the end of the day. This one doesn't. I still feel like at the end of the day, I'm not wearing anything. It's just really, really light, and I love it. Also, it doesn't make me break out, which is a huge plus if you have to deal with acne. So big call out for that. Really love that. It also lasts all day long because of the wax base. And it's very natural. It's a, it's a natural vegetable-based wax. So I love it. And now I'm going to tell you about the company that produces it because it's actually, well, let me backtrack a little bit. So Alcone, like I said, it, they opened their storefront, I believe, in 1952 in New York City, selling professional makeup to celebrity makeup artists, um, the movie industry, the theater industry, and they've been doing that for many, many years. Recently, in the last three or four years, the company decided to expand into the home-based business industry and allow normal women like you and me who have not had access to professional quality makeup, they've decided to make it available to us so we can use it. And I'm so glad because I love the foundation. So what Limelight did, <clears throat> I mean what Alcone did, I'm sorry, is they started the company called Limelight. So Limelight by Alcone is the company that I get my foundation from. Um, one of the things that I really was impressed with is that they come from a company that's been supplying the industry for so many years that they were able to pick and choose the very best of everything the stuff that's in the boxes of professional makeup artists and say this is our product line they don't have one producer they have many producers because they have been able to pick and choose the best of the best so today I'm very excited because I recently became a beauty guide for limelight by Alcone and I just got my starter kit in the mail ah anyway this thing has this is so cute so classy but look at this it's got like this little cummerbund on it that's not printed that is an actual bow i've been really impressed by the packaging of this company everything they do is extremely classy so they did send me 10 catalogs and these are beautiful very clean very professional so i'm impressed by those but now i'm going to get really excited and i'm going to open my kit take off this cute little cummerbund and open my kit and we're going to see what's inside so here we go 
Ah, I love getting stuff in the mail. Okay, okay, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to pretend I didn't already open this because I was so excited last night when I came home and it was here. I'm, I'm wearing the lip color from this box. This is cream brulee. And it's going to be my new everyday color now because it's it's a beautiful color. So the first thing I did notice when I opened the box was more awesome packaging. They've got the foil sticker. Just really classy, really clean. Everything they do. So let's see what we got in here. Okay, so I, the company also does skincare. So there are some skincare products in here besides the professional makeup. Uh, the first one I'm finding is the bamboo and lemongrass body scrub. I know I'm going to be using that. I love body scrubs. Um, feet. My feet. Okay. Now we've got some Dream Clean. This is for normal to oily skin. This is a face wash. I'm going to be using that for my oily skin. This has got aloe and soap berry. And if you don't know, soap berry is a very natural soap. It's actually a berry that produces, I can't remember what the chemical is, but it's a chemical that lathers like a soap. So it's a very natural uh, soap. I'm going to be using that for oily skin. Okay, let's see. We've also got some skin polish with lemon and jojoba beads. This is a face mask. And any of you know me, any of you that know me, and I know some of you do, you know I love face masks. So I'm going to have a lot of fun with that. Okay, so we've got the pomegranate and oat face moisturizer. This is for normal to dry skin. I might give this a try, but I might also let other people try this as well and let me know what they think who have normal to dry skin. All right. Oh, and I've heard a lot about this. This is the must-do. This is actually a face oil. I don't know about you, but I've done a lot of research on people with oily skin. And they say that the reason they overproduce so much oil is because they wash it all off and they actually strip their face of too much oil when they need to have some so that their body doesn't overproduce as a reaction to stripping it off. So I'm definitely going to be trying this out. Um, I Like I said, I have heard a lot about this that a lot of the other beauty guides really love to put this on every morning. So I'm going to be using that for sure. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Now we're getting to the fun stuff, the makeup. I don't know about you, but I'm like... Makeup over chocolates any day. Okay, so the first thing I've got is the Signature Jeweled Lip Gloss. This is one of the company's signature products. I'm going to show you this packaging. This is so cute. So it's actually got <clears throat> jeweled handle, and it's got the little mirror on the side. So if you stick this in your purse, you can have a little mirror with you to apply your lip gloss. This is a pretty red color with some gold flex sparkle in it. What is this color? This is love. This color is love. So I'm going to be trying that out. I think I'm going to start wearing red lipstick more often. Okay. Loving that. And the next thing we've got, oh, we've got some blushes. Now, I've heard a lot about the blushes. There's one of the colors that's actually blush number six is the color that Kim Kardashian wears. It's actually produced by the same, it is produced at the same plant and her professional makeup artist uses that blush on her. I did not get blush number six because I got the light skin kit. And I think it's for uh, a medium or darker tint tones. I don't have Kim Kardashian's coloring. But if you do, apparently her makeup, art of, makeup artists rave over number six for her. So if you like her skin coloring, give it a try. But this is number three. So this is blush number three and this one I actually like I said I didn't wait to open this up today I put this on this morning it's got a little bit of a gold shimmer to it and at the end of the day I don't know if you can see it but I still had a shimmer on my cheeks from this so I really love that I love how it looked it kind of highlighted my cheekbones which I liked really well so I'm definitely going to be using that and I loved how it lasted clear till the end of my work day I got home tonight from work and I could still see that highlight on my cheekbones. So I'm going to be loving that. The next one is their, uh, the Press Powder. And I did also use this this morning. And I really like to powder my face to seal in my makeup. It helps it last all day. But that's, that's definitely something I'm going to be using. Press Powder is a lot cleaner. I don't get it all over the place when I use it. So that's a big plus. The Loose Powder, you know, you all, you all know I'm clumsy. 
So I make a mess with loose powder. But the pressed powder is a lot easier for me to not, you know. Okay, so this one is actually another blush. This is blush number one. And I don't remember what this one is called. But this is a really pretty kind of maroon color. So I can't wait to try that out. I think that's going to be a lot of fun, especially for the summer. See, the foundation I'm wearing right now is a little bit of a lighter shade. I'm going to go one shade darker for summer because I tan more in the summer. And I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to blend better for the summer. But this color I'm going to enjoy really well. Going to have some fun with that. Probably more through the summer. We'll see. Okay, so now we're getting to some of the Perfect Pout Lipstick. And I got a very beautiful red color in my kit. This is 103. I don't remember the name of it, but look at that color. That is a beautiful red lipstick. So I'm going to start trying that out and seeing how I like that. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Another lipstick, another perfect pout. Let's see what a color we got here. This is number 101, and I don't know the names of all of these yet. This is kind of a more brown color, a little bit of an orange tint to that. So I'll definitely be trying that out also. Okay, now we've got the perfect eyeliner pen. I hope this is really perfect for my, because I'm not the greatest with liquid eyeliner. So I'm going to definitely be trying that and see how I like it. Okay, so now we've got the perfect mascara. This, this is what excites me because I have heard a lot about this mascara. It's a, it's a lengthening mascara for your eyelashes and it actually has fibers in it. <clears throat> there are competitors. This, this actually sells for $20 with Limelight by Alcone. Our, we have competitors that sell this for $24. So you're actually getting the better deal. Also, Alcone is actually the company that invented lengthening mascara. So this is like the original invention. Okay, so I've also got the, the empty palette holder so I can put my blushes and powder in there and I'll probably be trying out some of the bronzers also. But the nice thing about Limelight is you can order a palette and customize everything that you have in there. So when I go to their website to buy like an eyeshadow palette, I can customize the colors I want in there. I can buy this with like two blushes and a powder or two bronzers and a powder or a blush and a brow, a bronzer and a powder. So I can really customize these and they'll ship them out like that. It's really cool. So you can match it to your skin tone or you can order, you know, palettes to do makeup professionally. So we've also got some lip liner here. This is the Enduring Lip Liner. And this is kind of a nude color. This is actually number 02. It's a little bit on the light side for me. I kind of prefer my lip liner to be a shade darker than my lipstick because it kind of defines the lips better. But I'm going to be trying that out, of course. Alrighty, and then we've also got, oh, my favorite, the Enduring Lip Color, which is what I'm wearing right now. This is called Creme Brulee, and this is a beautiful color. I'm just going to show you. I'm just going to show you right on my hand how fun that is. I don't know if you can see that really well, but that is a beautiful color. Love it. That's going to be my new daily lip color. So, oh, and that smells like vanilla frosting. Really fresh, though. Really fresh. It's got a really good smell. Okay, and the last thing in here is a tool. This is so cool. When I saw this, I was like, no way. This is the Blenderful. So this is your makeup sponge and it's got a flat end. So you can put it like right underneath your eye, which is great for blending concealer or for powdering under your eye. And it's got this mesh packet for drying. So when you wash it, you can put it in here, stick it on the sink, and you know it's protected for drying so that you don't get like bacteria and stuff in there. So I thought that was really awesome. Anyway, that's it. That's my kit. Um, it also had some color matching ca cards. It did have the 10 um, catalogs as well as a little, oh, I don't know where I put it. But it had like a little display screen for, it looked like it had like a preloaded video on it. So I'm going to be watching that. But that's my kit. Thank you, everybody, for joining me. I was very excited. I'm going to be having fun with this, and I will keep you up to date on what I like, and I'll talk to everybody later. Mwah! Bye.